Stranger Things Season 4. Let's get right into it. If you know a thing about Stranger Things is that they don't they don't shy away from making long episodes. I mean, each one was at least an hour, hour an hour and 15 minutes long. I believe the last episode was an hour and 30 minutes long. Uh, so yeah, lots of time consumed over the weekend. Um, but yeah, the first episodes came out and the final two episodes are going to come out July 1st, I believe. And I think the last episode's going to be two hours and a half. So basically a movie. <laughs> but hey, I'm not complaining because it's a pretty good freaking show. Now, I really don't like dislike that many things about it. I mean, with that much runtime for each episode, they do a pretty good job of keeping the story contained and giving enough screen time to each character and each storyline. Because um, one thing Stranger Things does is that it, for example, it has it has the group of main characters, right? And then it splits it splits up the characters into different groups, and different groups have their own stories until the final episode, where they all come together and meet at the end. Well, same thing here. I I think we're I think we're running looking at four storylines at one point, and honestly, each storyline is pretty entertaining to, to follow. Like it's not like you prefer one over the other, which you might, but anyway anyway i will say honestly the the first half of the first episode we really didn't need like honestly i didn't need it i think it, it was only useful for introducing new characters but besides that like i don't care about like the their basketball or or dungeon and dragon game like i don't really care about that just get straight to the point and they kind of honestly did at the end of that episode with uh chrissy dying and oh my goodness the deaths the brutality, the darkness in this, these episodes are just crazy. I mean, if you thought Stranger Things was dark season one through three, you don't know where you're, where you're getting into for season four. It's just, <laughs> it's freaking, it's freaking creepy, man. Like the way these people die with like, and spoilers, duh, but like with their, their bones like going in directions they're not supposed to, levitating, eyes getting freaking blown out and jaws getting dismembered it's just it's terrible <laughs> it's really not fun to see and honest to be honest with you it was hard for me to watch those death scenes moving forward like after Chrissy I was like okay maybe I can do this but then with the, the nerdy kid with the glasses I was like I had to look away for a second because it was it was creepy and not like hair like horror movie scary because it's not scary in that way it's just like disturbing you're like that's not how bones are supposed to go like <laughs> that's not how the body is supposed to move with that kind of creepiness but honestly i this might be my favorite season so far and if you didn't know they're making a season five which i didn't know they were i thought season four was going to be the end but they are going to make a season five and the enemy for this season i like it a lot i, I like i like vecna i think that's his name mainly because he's an actual person like the the villains or enemies antagonists whatever you want to call them before they're just like monsters like beasts like oh from a different world but Vecna is an actual or actually he was no he is he may not be physically but in here he's still a human but yeah like I said I, overall I liked it don't have much criticisms looking forward to for the last two episodes and I'll probably make a video on that but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought, if you liked it, disliked it, if you don't even watch it, let me know, and I'll catch you guys next time.